I know it's been a while. Briefly on the Gay and Lesbian Center event that happened this Saturday. <laughs> it was so fucking cool. Um, I got Julio and David to go with me and it was held at the Beverly Hills um, Hilton Hotel. And it was really cool. Kat Von D was there. Um, Linda Perry Pink was there. Um, and Renee Zellweger. <laughs> But David and Julio were the ones getting the people on stage, so they got to be around all these celebrities, and I'm pretty sure they were, like, freaking out, which is awesome. I'm so glad I forced them to go. The girls' night was fun. I mean, it ended, like, at 3 or 4 in the morning, and I don't remember half the things that happened, so it must have been fun, right? Um, the next morning, I woke up and I looked up the videos that I had, and it was insane. I had to edit a lot because we were talking about a lot of inappropriate things. <laughs> but I got the information that I wanted. So enjoy. Are you dating or are you seeing somebody? I'm doing a combination <laughs> So, you're into... No, no, no. Let me explain this. Oh, okay. Because I know you want explanation. Because I don't. Gonna be I don't. I'm not going to... Are you doing the combination or no, no. why? I'm just saying, is it you're dating or you're not, or you're seeing other people? And you're I'm obviously many seeing people. Exactly, and that's what works for you, right? Yeah, because I don't want to be in nothing serious. Oh, who's that? Who's me? <laughs> Kelly. Kelly. Single or you're not single? I am not single. And you've been with? I am with my boyfriend, Alejandro. Alejandro, for how many years? Um, about seven and a half. Yeah, Kelly has recently moved in with a boyfriend. How's that going? Well, it's going well. Um, we're still a little unpacked right now, so we have to jump over piles. But it's okay. He spent the night a few times, so <laughs> I know what it's like. And it's, it's been good. Like, I would have to say that I do enjoy living together before we decided to get married, so that's nice. That was one of the questions I was going to ask you, because a lot of people disagree <laughs> with living together before you get married. A lot of women want to get married before they live together. Do you agree with that? Um, I don't, I think it just depends on what's right for you. Like, because if you really love somebody, like, regardless of whether you're married or not, if it doesn't work out when you start living together, you're like, it's not going to work out. So, right. It's almost better to see beforehand how it's going to be. And, like, for me, the only reason why I didn't want to, like, move in before I was married is because I didn't know how to explain it to my family. But then I realized, you know, it doesn't care. I don't have to tell them. So. <laughs> Um, you got divorced and you are with Carlos slash boyfriend slash baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you had a baby and you have two girls and a boy. So how's that working out? Good. Haven't had a complaint yet. Hopefully I don't have one, but it seems like myself. it seems like everything's working out. He's working and he's supporting you and he loves your girls. I haven't seen anything like crazy. You know, and it's like, I've seen shit, like, of guys who's been with girls that have babies, and they're kind of, like, crazy with their kids what? and stuff, but I see him, and he's, like, sure. he's really nice to the girls, and he really supports you in everything that you do, and he's, like, I'm here for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which is good. I love that. Yeah. He accepts me and my girls, and he knows that my girls or my kids come first. Have, have you guys had any disagreements at all since you guys have been oh, together? Oh, of course. We've had disagreements. Yes. When you're in a relationship, you kind of have to compromise. It's give and take. You know, I'd rather take than give. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You have to sometimes accept what your partner brings to the table even though you don't agree with it. But you have to learn to live with it and come to a compromise. It's not always, you know, about you, or it's not always about him, but mostly what's good for the relationship and the kids, if you have kids. If you had a chance to not work as hard and let everything go and let your husband support you, would you? Um, 
Um, no, I don't think so. Because I think it's important to feel like at least a little bit of independence, you know? I don't know. Like, because if you don't, you just get depressed. And then you get sad, and then you're just like, oh, my life's not worth living, blah, blah, blah. And it's like if you have something for yourself, even if it's something small, if, like, you really want to do it and you believe in it, I think that that's, like, necessary. Like, although I, I do kind of think that if you have kids, you know, you should probably wait until they're the right age or whatever, you know, because, like, you do have a responsibility to them. But I think once they're in school, you can do whatever you want, as long as you're there for everyone. I know that you have three kids. <laughs> so how, what do you think? If you could not work for the rest of your life and just be with your children, would you do it? Yes. Yes, because, well, Carlos is actually giving me that right, I guess you said right right now. He's working two jobs and I get to stay home with the kids. And I love it because I get to guide them or they come to me whenever they have a problem. Like right now, Emily is uh, she's in second third grade and um she's barely she found out like two weeks ago that she had to wear glasses so the, she came to me and told me that the kids were actually making fun of her and i got to help her who do i have to kill exactly i had i got to help her with that issue you know and if i wasn't home to do that she was she wasn't going to tell me because when mm -hmm. i used to work she really didn't have that bond with me that I was home. I would pick them up, drop them off at school, uh, listen to whatever problems they had, fix them dinner, lunch, whatever. And yeah. now I do. And I feel like we're closer than we were before when I was working. So, as you can see, it was three girls in three completely different situations. I didn't get the other girls on camera because they didn't want to be on camera. Which is okay. I mean, to each their own. Nobody has to know any of your business, you know. But I do appreciate... Um, Francis, Janet, and Kelly giving me their opinions because it's useful. You know, if it's not useful to me, it's going to be useful to other people. I have something to tell you guys. I haven't told anybody, well, except for my roommates and, you know, my close family and stuff. But, um, I am no longer single. So I have to change the name of the show. I don't know, Single and Mingling? It's kind of funny, you know, like. I don't know what I should call it now. If you have an opinion on, 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 you know, what I should call my show, let me know. But, um, yeah, about a week ago, it's been a week, almost two weeks, I think, that, um, Henry asked me to be his girlfriend. And it's funny the way it happened. I'm not even gonna get into it. It actually happened the night that I did my girls' night. Um, shit happened that night. <laughs> And we had like this big old blow up and then out of that came, you know, I really like you, I want to be with you. So, yeah. I'm hoping to make another video with Julio because I miss him a lot. Come back, Julio. <laughs> um, other than that, I will see you guys next week. Like you have no idea who I am